Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, my name is Kadada Bong, uh, coming to you from DadaBong.com and aspiring DadaBong Studios, maybe eventually. Um, wanted to start off, I guess, with my first tutorial ever on uh, UVW maps. It, uh, actually, just image maps in general, but I want to specify in on UVW maps. Um, it was some image maps or something that always gave me a bit of trouble when I was starting out. Uh, I actually really didn't get a good grasp on them until very recently, actually. And once I did, I felt that that was something that I should share with the rest of everybody. So first, um, uh, for those who aren't familiar with it, I want to go ahead and explain what those are. Um, UVW maps are simple little images that are wrapped around a 3D model. Uh, the UVW cor um, corresponds with X, Y, and Z uh, to wrap in all three dimensions around your model. This right here is actually a UVW map of a computer chip that I did and I'll end up using that later on in the series. But In order to demonstrate UVW maps I had to use UVW maps but I got a little something planned out. It may be stretched out across a couple videos, but we're going to get it all done with. Um, also, they can look at everything from as crazy, from as simple as a computer chip to as crazy as a face that's bending in every direction. Um, I also have uh, normal maps for this dog that I did. Uh, those are typically created in sculpting, uh, which is a function in the R14 release. Um, I really couldn't draw these anyway, to be honest with you. The shading is super delicate to get it in all these bumps. So it's really best just to let sculpting do that. But if you have Photoshop, it's recommended for working with UVW maps. Um, but Cinema 4D can handle the job in case you don't have it. So, that being said, we all see there's some crazy looking works of art. Um, I guess we're just going to dive right in. Let's see, I got Cinema open. Okay, here's the dog that we're going to end up working on. And made a little quick glance. It would look kind of realistic. You use real images. Uh, regular paint. Um, obviously, we see the 3D structure up in here. Um, but we'll cover all that over this little whatever this ends up becoming. Alright. I guess first we'll start by going over what we're looking at. Uh, when you work with UVW maps, while those pictures come out looking the way they did, they look like that because they're stretched out over uh, polygon layouts and when the polygons are laid out it basically tells the computer what to what what section of the image to reference to put to display for the color as this model uh... it's pretty much the technical terms now let me get my phone out so i'm not sitting here stuttering and stammering and i can move from one thing to the next let's see ink pad but yeah we should, like, we should just go ahead and start through the whole process alright let me get out of this is my custom body paint layout i'm gonna work on it all the tools that are uh, up here you're gonna see on your screen too They'll just be in crazy looking areas. And I really just don't like working in standard body paint and 3D paint and UV edit and whatever. So we're going to go to my startup. Let's see UVW map to it. Alright. Um, we went over the image maps. Uh, a bump can be black and white. We saw normal displacements or delicate RGBs. Um, UVW, as you see, is being projected onto the dog is a full color uh, whatever you want it to be doesn't really have any coding meaning such as the RGB and the black and white um, 
let's see, and we're gonna go through UVW generation. Okay, first we'll pick out the dog. If you don't have the dog, uh, you can go to my website if you're working on like R13 or something. Um, they don't, cause this is a base sculpting mesh that I'm just using for demonstrative purposes. But if you don't have the dog, you can go to my website. I'll make a, a file, put the dog in there, and you can work on it if you want. If not, whatever. Um, first, we're gonna start with a new file, and in this new file, we are going to go right here to the content browser where apparently last thing I worked with was an elephant um, sculpting I believe base meshes there we go and right here you can find the dog and I thought it I just thought it was pretty neat and we'll go ahead and scale this dog up since they apparently just try to keep the files small I guess and where that was my uh, I was wondering where those were. Okay, let's see. We'll scale it up about a thousand. Uh, okay, I can't snap. Cool. Um, all right. So we start off with this dog, and we'll go ahead and get rid of everything else. We'll hide these. It'll be looking creepy as a dog with no eyes, but it'll render with eyes so we'll get over it alright we'll start with the dog and furthermore we'll delete this UVW tag just in the off chance that you don't end up having one so now we're basically here with plain un uh, calculated polygon mesh I guess would be the word for it uh, UVW generation um, simplest way that I've been able to find how to do it is you have to give it something to map over it first so we'll go to um, create a material and we'll just slap it right on that sucker and you see it'll give a projection type of spherical and later that'll really correlate with the um... later that'll really correlate with how the UVWs are laid out because once you put a material on it you can just go right up here to pull this out. There it is. Tags and generate UVW coordinates, and it'll figure out where all these UVWs are. And you can delete that shit. And it's pretty that much that simple. Uh, you can do that with any object, anywhere, any way, anyhow. Um, where's my drink? Okay. I guess if we're gonna go and make the dog the way I did it before, it wasn't particularly hard. Um, you just grab a couple polygons on the neck. I like these because they came out in a rectangle. Uh, grab an extrude and extrude that sucker inside. Make it about flesh deep, but not too deep. Bam. And then we'll go back into model mode. And ta da! We have our dog complete with computer chip about to be neck. Alright. Next, we're going to go ahead and fly over to body paint. Bam! We already have one problem, which is this ugly ass dog. So we will apply this material to him uh... make it editable let's see how do we get to that again bingo okay um... in order to change this which you're gonna want to do pretty immediately um... you're gonna want to be in the uv polygon edit mode and you're going to want to either select all of them or deselect all of them. Either way, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to deselect them all. And then go over here, and you can change your projection type from these wild ones like spherical, uh, cylinder, 
frontal, you see it's the same. You see it's the same projection here as it is right here. Um, flat, it's kind of whack, but it's like a lot of people found use for that. I'm not gonna knock any of them. But personally, I prefer to work in the optimal because I can rearrange them how I want. So we'll go into optimal, and bam, it automatically opens you up. You see one side of the dog, two sides of the dog, the top side of the dog, the front uh, leg portion and chest. It's pretty simple. And if you ever needed to find any of them, all you have to do is just highlight uh, whatever polygon it is you want to mess with. And it'll tell you exactly where it is.